Hey guys, I'm Ingrid Arna from IngridArna.com and I cannot wait to share this juicy subject with you. It's something that I've been thinking about for a while and it came up recently while I was on Twitter and I noticed that Ayanla Van Sant said something and it kind of triggered me a little bit and don't get me wrong, I love her. I think Ayanla is amazing. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. She and Oprah are doing beautiful things on her own and really powerful stuff also on her, the Super Soul Sunday series. However, it's a comment that's made a lot and Ayanla said something like, you know, when you decide to heal, everyone else will follow or participate. And I took a second and I thought about it and I thought, well, that hasn't really been my experience and I don't know if that's really true for everyone. And it's a little bit of a slippery slope taking that on board, that kind of concept. So why, why that's so is because you're actually having this expectation of getting an outcome uh, or a res result from something or someone that you can't control. So it's like saying, okay, well, if I decide to heal my relationship, say, with my father, um, with that kind of uh, philosophy that Ayala was communicating, she's kind of saying, well, then he will participate in the healing as well. And um, as I said, I haven't seen that actually work for me or for my clients. So I want to take a little bit of a different perspective. And I want to talk to you about healing like you mean it. And to heal like you mean it, there's a couple of steps. One is deciding to heal and to become whole right in this moment without anyone else's permission or without anyone else's involvement. All uh, that really needs to be uh, present is your complete and utter desire to heal. And number two is a deep connection to your own soul and to source and to a higher power. You want to call that God, creator, the universe. And um, what you really need to do is just to be decide that no matter what kind of has happened in your life, you want to look at forgiving yourself, forgiving others and releasing uh, the past trauma. And you do that by taking on the initiative on your own without anyone being involved in the process. So for example, I really actually did heal my relationship with my father and he became involved after I did the healing work on myself. So I went to healers, I researched, I read, I read a lot of books, I read Ayanla's book, which is great. I wrote my own book and that was a really cathartic healing journey for me. I learned uh, from really helping a lot of my clients, but it has taken me years. But before I made a mistake, I actually did like want to have the involvement uh, of certain family members or loved ones. And um, it actually created a lot of pain and a lot of struggle because they weren't behaving in the way that I'd like them to behave. Or they weren't behaving in the way that I deemed loving or that was right for me. And in many cases, there might be a lot of people in your life, for instance, that are quite, they're quite stuck. Um, and I also find that when you do a lot of your own healing work, you're able to talk in a more loving way with the people that you want to heal your relationships with. And you have more awareness and understanding of your own limitations, of your true feelings, because often if we're still sort of in the hurt uh, or angry stage or the re resentful stage, we don't tend to uh, come from a really loving space, uh, number one, with ourselves, but also with others. We're, we're not able to come with a non-judging, angry kind of vibration to the table. So I find that when you do your own healing, everyone else then participates. And even if they don't, you know, there's some people that are really trapped and they, they will never, ever uh, kind of give you what you want. And I ask a lot of my clients when they sort of complaining or in this sort of uh, state of pain and trauma and for many of them they've held on for onto it for a really long time and I say well what happens if you never get your mother your father your husband uh, a past lover to give you what you want are you going to stay trapped in this kind of chaotic anguish struggle type of mode for the rest of your life you know and they kind of think about it for a moment and obviously they don't want that so then I say to them, well, the choice is to heal right now independently uh, with your connection to source. I can guide you, I can help you. And right now you can reach out and just ask creator of all that is to please guide you, for, ask for healing, ask for a miracle right now and surrender into that and 
ask for guidance and support and you will be led to the right book, the right healer, the right path, the right alternative medicine to lift your game and to take you to that higher place. So just stop waiting for others to participate heal like you really mean it and take ownership of it and it's really actually exciting because you're not relying on anyone else to give you that you you give yourself that by deciding to become healthy whole and heal right now in this very moment so you might want to use an affirmation really simple one say i am healed i am whole i am well thank you dear creator all is well and i hope you really enjoyed this video if you haven't yet signed up for my weekly videos, please head over to ingridarna.com. It's a simple sign up, takes two seconds. And I'd love to hear from you. If you wanna post below this video, please do. If you have questions, and if you'd like me to cover a certain subject that I haven't yet, please reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. And take care and much body love. Ciao.